Today I want to talk about opening a can of paint and the basic tools that you can use to do this. So I have my can of paint. This is actually a used can of paint. So it works the same for an open can of paint or not. And my favorite tool is actually a flathead screwdriver. You can tell this one's seen better days. It's actually the tips broken off, but it still does the job. So that's what you can use. You'll see this is your lid and it ends right here on this little rim right here. And so you're gonna insert the screwdriver into that lip right here. And this by prying up right here is gonna give you the leverage that you need. Uh, this is a painter's tool that you can use. And this guy, same thing. You're gonna just stick it in here and pry it open. It's actually easier to use this corner. Um, I don't use this one very much. Uh, this is what they'll give you at a paint store. Uh, it has a little bit of a lip and it's the same concept, just right here lifting up. But we all probably have a flathead screwdriver, so this is my favorite way to open a can of paint. So I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. And again, this is a ready used can of paint. And so I'm just gonna hurry and open this up for you. And as you can see, I'm just working my way around the edges of it, just prying it up. And because it is a ready used can, it will take a little bit more than a brand new can. But if you just keep going around, Oh, you probably heard that one. It, the seal broke on that one. So that means that we're getting there. Just gonna keep wedging it around. And you can kind of tell where it's sticking in certain areas. So that's why I keep kind of going back over that spot because it hasn't popped yet. And if you get to a spot that the lid just doesn't want to open, because you can see it's kind of sealed right here, you can just wedge your screwdriver in right here and pop it from that spot to pry it open. And that is how easy it is to open a can of paint. So the key is, is when you do close a used can, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't leave any residue or as little as possible right here inside this little rim. And as you can tell, I didn't do the best job with that last time I used this can of paint, obviously. And that's why it's stuck. So I'm gonna hurry and just kind of chip it out without getting any of that inside the paint. That way it'll give it a good seal when I close this but also it'll make it easier to open the next time. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect, so that's how you open it. Now to close it, uh, you'll just place your lid back on. After making sure, it's a great idea, like a good way to do it is if you take just a towel and run it along the inside right there. That would have solved my problem about the sticking but sometimes we don't have a towel lying around, so it doesn't happen. But once you've done that, you'll stick your lid back on. If I have my painter's tool lying around, I'll just take the bottom of that and just hammer it around the outside edge. But if you don't have that, you'll just take your a paper, a towel or something, and then just take a hammer and hammer all the way around the edge. If you have a fancy mallet that's the plastic one, that'll do the same thing. But yeah, just make sure it's all the way shut so that way no air can get into it and you are ready to store your paint. Now I'm gonna hurry and show you on a five gallon bucket. Normally they have a little tab that you have to pull right along here. Um, but this one's obviously been already used. Normally the tab is about right here and you'll just pull that all the way around. And then what I like to do is I like to put my knee on an end like this and then I'll grab, you'll see these little tabs right here and I'll just go right here 
and I'll just pop it up in one spot, twist it, pop it again, pop it again, pop it again, pop it again. And you might be wondering, like my knee right here, is that putting pressure to close it? And it doesn't if you put it right in the middle. And once you get to a certain point, you can basically open it up. And they have fancy tools to open these guys, but I have never found that I need them. And then you'll open your paint bucket. There you go. That's how you open a five gallon bucket. Uh, just close it up. And to close it, you're just gonna press all along the side or until you hear all those pops and it's closed. So now you know how to open a gallon bucket and a five gallon bucket of paint.